Hello, this is Eleanor with Do Your Own Dentures. In this day and age, a lot of people are making their own dentures or ordering them online. Denture impression trays. If you have no teeth, it's good to have these impression trays that have this dip in them. If they have a shorter uh, side, that's good. Now, before you start, take your dentures out if you have them and feel around in your mouth. You'll feel there's a big, strong muscle here, and usually you've got some pretty stiff muscles right there. Not stiff, but I'd say they're strong. Same with underneath here. You've got a strong muscle there, and usually one on each side. So, when you feel this impression tray with alginate you want to practice practice putting it in and out of your mouth you're going to have to probably uh, go in kind of sideways get in there straighten it out you're going to aim to have this over your jaw so your jaw is right about in the center of this so when you have the impression material in there it's going to be pretty full because you want it to kind of gush out over the top and through these holes in the bottom. So then <clears throat> when you have this tray with impression material in it, you're going to turn it upside down, angle it into your mouth, set it down over your jaws and push down. Then grab a hold of your lip underneath there and pull it out because you want that muscle to come up and go into there. And then, as it's in there, you pull that down, you're pressing this down, reach in, pull your cheek out, pull your cheek out here, and let it go, and then push down and wait until the material gets stiffened up. You can tell usually by touching the material out in here or some that's in the bowl from you mixing it generally you're talking two minutes in the mouth with the material with the upper one you're pretty much going to do the same thing except this is the upper one that's got a full plate you will practice before you do this you'll practice putting it in your mouth make sure that it fits right that it's a proper impression tray for you and that your jaws fit in around here so as you've got before well before you start reach up in there and feel that muscle feel this muscle feel this muscle and when you have your impression material you've loaded it into here and it's got to be way up there so when you push this get this in there and you are pushing it up in your mouth this stuff is going to gush out from the bottom and over these top sides. When this impression tray is in there, you can either take a, a, a pull out your lip and drop it down or take a popsicle stick and work it around, go into the sides, pull that cheek, those cheeks back so they you've got them pulled back and they drop and they push and and they will expose that muscle that's in there. You'll be able to see it on the impression. Okay, I think that's it for this part of it.